It's time to turn your home into your favorite breakfast diner because I'm going to show you how easy it is to fry eggs perfectly every single time. You are going to love this. If you've never fried eggs before, I can see how it could be challenging. Am I overcooking it? Am I undercooking it? Am I going to get sick because the yolk is runny? So many questions running through your mind. In addition to what kind of oil or butter or pan, so many things. We're going to cover off on all of those. But first, we're going to start with the eggs. Sound good? Let's cook. Go ahead and pull out your eggs from the refrigerator. I've got some large brown eggs here. Any color will work. If you have farm fresh eggs, even better. Now to always test the freshness of eggs, a very simple trick you can do if you're afraid they've been sitting in the refrigerator too long is fill up a large bowl of water, it can be cold, lukewarm, doesn't matter. Drop the eggs in there. If they float, they're no good. If they drop down below, they are fresh. Now let's talk about pans for a second. I absolutely love the green pan. It's a ceramic coated, there's no crazy nonstick chemicals on there. It's pretty inexpensive, and I've had this one for quite a few years. I'll drop a link, don't worry. The other one would be a cast iron skillet. Old faithful, my friends. This needs to be very well seasoned to ensure your eggs will not stick. If it's not seasoned well, my, my promise to you is the eggs are going to stick, and you're going to be mad at me. Okay, so let's get going. What I like to do before I cook any of my eggs is crack them right into a separate bowl, make sure there's no shells, make sure everything looks good, if it does, fantastic. We're going to take it right over to the cooktop. And now I've got some oil. You can absolutely use your favorite oil. Safflower, avocado, olive oil, whatever you'd like. Even butter would be fantastic. I've got a little bit of safflower oil that I like to cook with. I'm just going to simply add it to my pan. I'm going to turn the heat on to medium to low, somewhere in between there. Go ahead and drop your egg right in there after about 30, 45 seconds to your pan's nice and warm. You can see it start to turn white immediately. For this first one, we're doing a sunny side up. All we do is cook it for one minute on medium heat or two minutes on low heat. You do not flip it. We've got a nice little brown edge around the outside. I like it that way. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and bring it over to the cutting board and slice the yolk just to make sure it's nice and runny. I always want to do this to show you guys what exactly it's supposed to look like. This is fantastic, nice runny yolk. Let's flip it over. It's a little bit brown. If you wanted to cook it on low heat because you don't like that fry mark, no problem. Turn it to low, two minutes. Now let's go to the over easy egg, which is one of my favorites. We are gonna simply add the egg in there. And then for a second, let's talk about the burners. This burner in heat is about a medium. It's not my biggest burner, it's not my smallest burner, but it is about a medium sized burner. And, and the reason this is important is because it may cook a little bit differently at my house than it will at your house. If you're using a very big hot burner, it may not take that long to finish cooking. Okay, so I flip this over. This is a nice over easy egg. Cook for a little bit on each side. Just going to show you what it looks like. This is nice and white on both sides. There's no fry marks. This is pretty solid here. And again, just gonna grab my knife and slice it just to make sure we've got a nice runny yolk. Yep, perfect over easy egg every single time. Now, we're gonna go to my absolute favorite, which is an over medium egg. Gonna drop the egg in there again on low to medium heat for about 90 seconds or so. I may turn the heat up just a little bit. Again, you're gonna have to adjust the heat as you fry these eggs. It's very important to pay attention to that. Now, let's see if I still got it, my friends. Just gonna give it a little shake. Let's see if I can do a little flip. Yep, got it flipped right over. Scares me these days since I'm not always working in the back of a restaurant. Wanna make sure I hone my own skills. This looks excellent. What we're gonna do, again, bring it back over to the cutting board. Let's make sure it's a perfect over medium. Go ahead and slice it down. What it should be is a little bit runny, but the yolk should be a little firmer on the outside. This is over medium, my friends. This is how I like it. Now to do an over hard egg. Again, same process. Add your egg to the frying pan. This is definitely gonna cook for a little bit longer on each side. Give a little flip, whether using a spatula or flipping in your pan, honing those skills. That's what it's all about. This looks fantastic. What we're going to do again is just take it off, go back over to the cutting board. Sorry so much for repeating myself, but I want to show you how each of these eggs look for all of the time limits that I gave you to cook them. 
pull it open. Yep, perfect over hard egg. Now, I do wanna show you one more trick if you like over hard eggs so that they cook quicker. I learned this at a restaurant. And what we're gonna do is immediately grab a knife or a fork, doesn't even matter. You can use the half cracked shell, just break up the yolk a little bit. This will help it cook quicker. It will spread throughout the whites. And honestly, you're talking maybe minute to a minute and a half on each side for an over hard egg, not too bad. Once it's done cooking, let's go ahead and take everything off and head back over to our countertop. Nothing more fundamental than egg preparation. Frying eggs is probably one of the most basic things you can do, but so many people get it wrong. It takes practice. Like I always tell you every single week to my comies, to my chefs in training out there, once you start to understand these fundamental classic cooking techniques and you put them into practice over and over again, all of your homemade food from scratch will always taste better. These fried eggs are fantastic and they are so easy to do. We're talking less than two minutes to get a perfectly over easy egg. How awesome is that? Now we're gonna plate up in slow-mo. Now, now when it comes to serving up eggs, I love all the sides that go along with it, but I'm just gonna put these on a plate. We are of course gonna season it with salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Would be great to add Tabasco, crushed red pepper flakes, parsley herbs, you name it, have fun with these. But my oh my, check out this beauty. I've got some fried eggs, some toast, some jam, some bacon and orange juice. Sounds like a perfect morning. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Definitely like and share this video and check out this video right here because I made it just for you. We'll see you on there.